Levels of BIM, this is also a confusion among the industry, stakeholders and individuals, that what are the levels of BIM? In this video, I would like to answer the question, in a simple way, for clear understanding of industry, and for ease of industry, towards BIM adoption. The concept of BIM levels, and BIM level 2 compliance has become the accepted definition, of what criteria are required to be deemed BIM compliant. By seeing the adoption process, as the next steps in a journey, that has taken the industry from the drawing board, to the computer and, ultimately, into the, digital age. The UK government has recognized, that the process of moving the construction industry to full collaborative working will be progressive. Following the same major firms are also doing so. With distinct and recognizable milestones being defined within that process, in the form of levels. These have been defined within a range, from 0 to 3, and, whilst there is some debate about the exact meaning of each level, but for sure below le Level 0 of BIM Its simplest form of working, Level 0 effectively means, no collaboration. 2D CAD drafting only is utilized, mainly for production information. Output and distribution is via paper or electronic prints, or a mixture of both. The majority of the industry is already well ahead of this. Level 1 of BIM This typically comprises a mixture of 3D CAD for concept work, and 2D for drafting of statutory, approval, documentation and production information. CAD standards are managed to BS1192, 2007, and electronic sharing of data is carried out from a common data environment, CDE, often managed by the contractor. To achieve level 1 BIM, following should be achieved. Agreed roles and responsibilities. Naming conventions should be adopted. Arrangements should be put in place, to create and maintain the project-specific codes, and project spatial coordination. A common data environment, CDE, for example a project extranet or electronic document management system, EDMS, should be adopted. Agreed suitable information hierarchy, which supports the concepts of the CDE and the document repository. Level 2 of BIM Distinguished by collaborative working, and requires an information exchange process, which is specific to that project and coordinated between various systems and project participants. Any CAD software that each party uses, must be capable of exporting to one of the common file formats, such as IFC, Industry Foundation Class, and COBE, Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. This is the method of working, that has been set as a minimum target. For more information on working to BIM Level 2, take a look at international, British, or other standards. Level 3 of BIM Level 3 has not yet been fully defined, however the vision for this, is outlined in the UK government's Level 3, Strategic Plan. Within this plan, they set out the following key measures to be secured with further funding. The creation of a set of new, international, open data standards, which would pave the way for easy sharing of data, across the entire market. The creation of a cultural environment, which is cooperative, seeks to learn and share. Training the public sector client, in the use of BIM techniques, such as, data requirements, operational methods, and contractual processes. Driving domestic, and international growth, and jobs in technology and construction.